Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Jeremy A.K. Uzarjarambe back again with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Earlier today, we finally got the details for the new transforming Golden Frieza that will be coming to the JP side once the worldwide celebration campaign is over. So of course, we'll be looking at all of his animations and his stats. And we'll also be looking at a couple of older units who are getting some pretty good Dokkan Awakenings as well. So we'll talk about their animations and stats as well. So the other world warriors and resurrected warriors categories getting some good buffs. So we'll talk about all that information here in a minute. But real quick, I just want to let you guys know, I do have a Discord chat as well, some other social media pages. Links for those are down in the description below. If you want to go ahead and check those out, support me over there, I'd really appreciate that. And join that Discord chat because we've got an awesome community of people playing Dokkan Battle and Dragon Ball Legends, always willing to help out, and just a fun place to hang out and chat with everyone as well. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that red subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date on future content like this. Drop a like on the video and comment down below if you have any questions or comments. So let's go and hop over to the JP Dokkan official Twitter page here. We can see, of course, they released uh, the details uh, for the Cell, the Angel Cell, and the Angel Frieza. So these are older units, um, and they are finally getting the Dokkan Awakenings that I feel like they have needed. Um, they'll actually be somewhat usable in some aspects. So we're actually going to hop over to the Dokkan Wiki here in a minute um, to actually read what this is all about, because they have got those pages up, and it's all translated into English and everything like that. But... Um, we can also see the golden transforming Golden Frieza here and all of his stats. But first, let's go ahead, before we hop over to the Dokkan Wiki to see that stuff, let's look at the animations first. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and mute this real quick so we can hear the... Uh, here we go, we can hear the animations. So here, of course, is the uh, Tech Golden Frieza. Or sorry, the Tech Angel Frieza, my apologies. Followed by the Tech Angel Cell. So nothing too crazy there. Um, just, you know, some animations like we would expect from some units like that. So not too bad. Um, you know, pre pretty decent to have some uh, nice animations on them. But, of course, this is the animation we all uh, love to see. The new Dokkan Festival exclusive unit very clean animations on this as many people have said they feel like they're watching the anime and I would have to agree very clean animations and of course the transformation is absolutely amazing very awesome transformation with the active skill there. And here is the super attack following the transformation. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. I, I love it. Animations for super attacks and the, the active skill transformation. Just awesome stuff. Um... Props to Dokkan for all of the hard work they put in on all of these animations because they really add extra depth to the game. The active, voiced active skills are also really nice, so just some good stuff. So real quick, let's go ahead and brush over the first unit, which is going to be the Angel Cell. So we're over here on the Dokkan Wiki now. So uh, just real quick, in case you didn't know, you probably have this guy in your box. This is what he looks like. It's basically Cell. Looks like he's stomping his foot down on the screen. But uh, we'll just brush through his skills real quick. He's going to be an AGL type 90% uh, lead, so that's not too bad. But his super attack is actually going to infinitely stack attack and defense and cause supreme damage to enemy. So infinitely stacking attack and defense is absolutely amazing for a unit that is so easily obtainable. I feel like most people have him. Um, so that is, that's really good to see an infinite attack and defense stat there. But his passive skill, he does nuke 20% and he is tanky. Uh, so basically, attack plus 20%, defense plus 15% per key sphere obtained. That's any key sphere, doesn't have a specific color, so that's really good. And then all allies get key plus two if he gets two or more rainbow key spheres obtained. So that's going to be a really nice key buff for all allies, plus attacks will be effective against all types when all allies are in other world, other world warriors categories. So that's going to be a really good buff for other world warriors category teams because he's going to be a really hard-hitting unit with 
the infinite attack stacking the attack plus 20% per key sphere obtained, and then if his attacks are effective against all types, he's going to be hitting really hard. And especially if you have multiple uh, copies of this unit and super attack maxed out, he's going to be a hard hitter for that other world warriors category. Of course, other categories is in Android Transformation Boost, Boost Time Travelers, Artificial Life Forms, Kamehameha, and the, of course, Other World Warriors category. So, really good Dokkan Awakening for this unit. Um, honestly, every time I see this picture in my box, it kind of uh, <laughs> upsets me a little bit because he's just useless. But, once that Dokkan Awakening comes to the game, it will be really nice. So, same with this Tech Frieza. Angel Frieza, he starts out uh, looking like this. Uh, just looking at the screen if you, you might have this unit as well older unit again But the Dokkan Awakening is going to do the same thing for his leader skill except for tech type being a 90% lead And then same with super attack. He's going to raise infinite or sorry infinitely stack attack and defense So that's really good again, and then the passive skill is attack plus 120% Defense plus 100% when performing a super attack So he's going to be fairly tanky and get a uh, good or sorry get a good defense buff and hit pretty hard when performing super attack but he also changes int key spheres to rainbow key spheres and reduces damage received by 40% when all allies are in other world warriors category. So again, a good buff for the other world warriors category with a 40% damage reduction. And then he's going to help that sell out by changing int key spheres to rainbow. So he's going to help to get that attacks effect against all types. And then again, infinite stacking attack and defense with that extra 120% attack. 100% defense when performing a super attack just makes this unit and also a pretty viable unit to put on the other world's other world warriors category team trans uh, these categories are only the three transformation boost wicked bloodline and of course other world warriors so some good buffs for other world warriors category i don't use it too often i don't be, see it being used too often but these are going to be some good additions so let's go ahead and move on to the unit everybody's been waiting for of course the Dokkan Fest exclusive, Angel Frieza. He is going to be a Fizz type unit, and he's going to give Resurrected Warriors or Other World Warriors category key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 150%. So nothing too massively new for the leader skill, but a decent leader skill, I suppose. Um, not a 170% lead, but, uh, you know, having that key plus 4 and a double category lead is not too bad. Uh, super attack is going to be really nice before the transformation. He's going to infinitely stack defense, and he's also going to seal enemy super attacks. So that super attack is going to be very nice. The passive skill is going to be attack and defense plus 100%, plus an, at an additional attack and defense plus 50% for five turns after receiving attack, and a medium chance, which is a 25% chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attack, within the same turn after receiving attack. And the a really good thing is he gives attacked enemies attack and defense minus 30% for two turns. So he's going to give a debuff to enemy units while also getting some good buffs upon receiving attacks. He's going to seal super attacks, infinitely stack defense, really good stuff. Now, another awesome thing about this unit, his active skill is transformation can be activated upon entering attacking turn. So you can choose to transform him as soon as he comes out. So some people might be like, well, obviously I'm going to transform him right away then. But this is one thing you need to pay attention to is his super attack when he transforms is not going to infinitely stack defense anymore. So you want to make sure before you get that uh, the transformation off that you give him as much defense stacking as you want. Because super attack afterwards is just going to massively raise attack for one turn, which is a 100% uh, multiplier, but... Again, no defense buffs with super attack, and he no longer seals enemy super attack either. But the passive skill is really good with attack and defense plus 120%, plus he gets an additional attack and defense plus 80%, and a great chance, which is a 70% chance of stunning the attacked enemy when performing a super attack, and he reduces damage received by 50% when HP is 49% or less. So the lower HP you get, the tankier he becomes, and he's going to be really good in that aspect. If you've already infinitely stacked defense, then he's just not going to be taking much damage regardless of what happens. And again, he has that great chance of stunning attacked enemy with the super attack, which is a 70% chance to stun, which is amazing. So untransformed, you're sealing super attacks. When he's transformed, you're you're just stunning the enemy so it's great there again infinite stacking attack and defense before the transformation is going to be really helpful on top of the damage reduction skill and some other buffs there with the um, attack and defense plus 80 percent and attack and defense plus 120 percent so if you can get both of those off 
going to be 200% attack and defense buff. And again, with that super attack, it's going to be another 100%. So just buffs all over the place through the passive skill, through the super attack. And if you prep him right with the infinite stacking with attack and, or sorry, with the defense, you are going to be doing some good stuff there. So again, other world warriors and resurrected warriors category lead. Uh, categories we'll see here on the, um, of course, the uh, before transformation. A lot of categories here. Resurrected Warriors, Universe Survival Saga, Representative Universe 7, Transformation Boost, Full Power, Wicked, Bloodline, and of course, Otherworld Warriors. Link Skills Before the Transformation, Prodigies, Strongest Clan in Space, Universe's Most Malevolent, Shocking Speed, Nightmare, Tournament of Power, and Fierce Battle. And after the transformation, the categories uh, pretty much remain the same. But, um, I believe, uh, actually I think they do remain exactly the same. But the, the Link Skills, Prodigy, Strongest Clan in Space, Universe's Most Malevolent, Shocking Speed, Nightmare, Terminal Power, and Fierce Battle. And those might be the same as well, I believe they are. So, um, no Link Skill or Category changes between the transformation, but uh, the point is, is this unit is going to be, he's already being called the best TUR again. Um, so he's given Gohan a run for his money. He's going to be doing a lot of damage. He's going to be tanking a lot of damage. Sealing super attacks, stunning enemies, possibly evading super attacks as well. Just really good stuff here. A really awesome unit. And I will be going in, of course, for some summons on his banner on the JP side when he comes out. So I'm going to be farming out some stones and saving them up. Um, but anyway, that's everything for the video today. Again, some good Dokkan Awakenings for some older units and an amazing new Dokkan Festival exclusive coming out. Drop a comment down in the comment section below and let me know if you guys are going to be summoning for this unit or if you're going to be saving up for another time. Of course, we don't know what the future holds for the JP side. This is the most recent news and the most recent unit. So really exciting stuff. But if you did like the video today, make sure you drop a like. And again, comment down below if you have any questions or comments. Make sure you're checking out those links in the description below for the Discord chat and the other social media pages. Support me over there and follow, ever, or, uh, sorry, join the Discord chat. Join that awesome community. I'm looking forward to seeing you over there. Again, re I recommend you hit that subscribe button because I got a lot of content always dropping on the channel. Hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all of that. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys coming by and checking out the video today. And I'll catch you on the next video. Signing out.